McTominay, Maguire, Anthony, Manchester United injury news and return dates ahead of FA Cup clash. Eric Ten Hag is heading into Sunday's FA Cup semi-final versus Coventry City knowing that Man United need to progress to the final of the FA Cup. Manchester United fans are preparing to head down Wembley Way for the FA Cup semi-final against Coventry City on Sunday. The Reds are potentially just 90 minutes from the final which could go some way to rescue what has been a horrific season. Champions League, Premier League and Carabao Cup disappointment has left Eric Ten Hag fearing for the safety of his job. Ten Hag will blame the amount of injuries his team have had to deal with for why United have underperformed. So, ahead of the FA Cup clash against Championship opposition, here is how the injury latest is looking. Scott McTominay Injury, knee What Ten Hag has said, Scott, I expect him to be back. Scott didn't train all week, partial on Wednesday, today I expect him full. Potential return date, April 21st vs Coventry City. Harry Maguire Injury, thigh What Ten Hag has said, we have some problems. Harry, OK against Bournemouth, he struggled. He had a small injury and he didn't train this week so far but now he is back on the pitch. We expect him today to be back in team training and he will be available I hope, for Sunday. Potential return date, April 21st vs Coventry City. Anthony Injury, knock what Ten Hag has said, Anthony, I expect him to be back. Anthony did train all week. Potential return date, April 21st vs Coventry City. Johnny Evans. Injury, muscular. What we know, United announced Evans would be out of action, short term, with a muscular issue. He is not thought to be seriously injured but the centre-back was not mentioned as being ready for a return this weekend. Potential return date, April 21st vs Coventry City. Rafael Varane. Injury, muscular. What we know, the defender sustained the injury in the loss against Chelsea on April 4th. Ahead of the Bournemouth game, United confirmed that he would be out for a few weeks. Potential return date, May. Lisandro Martinez. Injury, calf. What we know, Martinez has been out injured since the Brentford game. United were told he would be out for at least a month. Potential return date, May. Victor Lindelof. Injury, hamstring. What we know, like Martinez, Lindelof was told he would be out of action for around a month. Potential return date, May. Luke Shaw. Injury, thigh. What Ten Hag has said, I expect him back. I think before the end of the season. That's the plan and he's still on schedule for this. He will return into our team. Potential return date, May. Anthony Marshall. Injury, groin. What Ten Hag has said, I don't know if he will play again for United before leaving this summer. He's still with the medical team. He's out on the pitch but if he will be available I don't know. Potential return date, unknown. Tyrell Malaysia. Injury, knee. What Ten Hag has said, back in February, the United boss said, he had setbacks during his rehab process. It takes too long, it's bad for him. Bad for us. But now we've turned a point, and it's positive, he will return soon on the pitch. I don't think then it will take long before his returning in the team training. Potential return date, unknown. Three Manchester United players set to recover from injury for Coventry. Man United have a depleted defence to contend with against Coventry City in the FA Cup but more options further afield. Scott McTominay, Anthony and Harry Maguire are all set to be available for Manchester United in their FA Cup semi-final against Coventry City. McTominay sat out the 2-2 draws with Liverpool and Bournemouth and Anthony missed the latter fixture. Maguire soldiered through the 90 minutes at Bournemouth despite a thigh problem. The Manchester Evening News reported this week Maguire had missed training sessions as a precaution but was expected to be fit for the occasion at Wembley. Anthony and Scott, I expect them to be back, United manager Eric Ten Hag said. Scott didn't train all week, partial on Wednesday, today I expect him full. Anthony did train all week. We have some problems. Harry, OK against Bournemouth, he struggled. 
He had a small injury and he didn't train this week so far but now he is back on the pitch. We expect him today to be back in team training and he will be available I hope, for Sunday. The FA Cup is United's only chance of silverware this season and the last time they won it in 2016 their Dutch manager was sacked two days later. Ten Hag was reluctant to dwell on the parallels with Louis van Gaal but was more loquacious in discussing the Football Association's decision to scrap replays from the first round next season. It's very sad for the British football culture but I think it is also inevitable, Ten Hag opined. No one can do anything for it, it's due to the overload in the schedule, that's dictated by FIFA and UEFA. We are a big competition, we have a big influence and a big impact but FIFA and UEFA, there are so many other countries and there is so much overload on the players and it has to stop. As I said, I feel really sad for the clubs in football but for top players make some space in the schedule. Manchester United predicted lineup versus Coventry as Alejandro Garnacho and Anthony start. Man United will be hoping to keep their season alive when they face Coventry City in the semi-final of the FA Cup at Wembley Stadium on Sunday. Manchester United will be targeting a second consecutive appearance in the FA Cup final when they face Coventry City in their semi-final showdown at Wembley on Sunday. United, who last faced the Sky Blues in 2007, losing 2-0, progressed to the last four of the competition with a dramatic 4-3 win over Liverpool at Old Trafford last month. Ahmad scored the seventh goal of the contest, netting a late winner in extra time, to seal a pulsating victory. United, however, have not won a game since, drawing three and losing one of their four Premier League matches that have followed the March international break, including last weekend's 2-2 stalemate with Bournemouth. They will be hoping that a brief period of respite from the league will jolt their season back into action and give them a chance of saving it. Having named an unchanged team for the aforementioned clash with the Cherries, manager Eric Ten Hag, who is under increasing pressure, could do the same again, though a cluster of members from within the squad will be targeting starting berths. Andre Onana is expected to continue between the posts and sample his first taste of Wembley as a United player. The goalkeeper has started all but one of United's matches in all competitions this season and will almost certainly occupy the gloves. As for the back four, confirmation that Harry Maguire is expected to win his fitness battle means he should retain his place at centre-back and could once again be flanked by Willy Cambuala. The latter has started the last two matches. Ten Hag is also likely to deploy the same individuals in the full-back berths, with Luke Shaw and Tyrell Malaysia still absent. Diogo Dallo started at right back at Bournemouth, meaning Aaron W. A. N. Basaka started on the opposite side, and history could repeat itself this weekend. Ten Hag, however, does have a big decision to make concerning his midfield. Casemiro was a passenger at the Vitality Stadium, producing another lackluster showing that should not be rewarded with another start. But the United manager has persevered with him and is unlikely to drop him for a game of such magnitude. It would be no surprise to see him joined in the engine room by Kobi Mainu and Bruno Fernandes. Sofian Amrabat, Scott McTominay, who is poised to return from injury, and Mason Mount will be targeting starting berths if Ten Hag does decide to make a change. Mount has not started a game for United since November because of a long-term injury. Regarding the forward line, Anthony will be targeting a recall after missing out against Bournemouth through injury and could replace Marcus Rashford. The latter has been off the pace in recent weeks and Anthony, to his credit, looked bright against Liverpool in his last appearance.